Hello all, um, my name is Mario Salvati. I'm here to introduce everyone to the Village Music Audio Recording course, which I will be teaching. Um, and I just wanted to introduce myself and also give you a little bit of an idea of some of the things that you'll be learning during that course. Um, so first, let's start with me. Uh, my name is Mario Salvati. Um, I started in the audio industry way back in 1975. So 40 plus years doing this. Um, I've done audio recording, I've done production, I've done a combination of the two. I've done satellite broadcasting. Um, I've also do recording studio design um, as well as maintenance um, and modifications to audio equipment. Uh, my background is in electronics technology and I've also have um, a background in working with a studio acoustician, um, which I've learned a lot, and um, that culminated with me in designing and building my own recording studio, Barefoot Flamingo Recording. I've been lucky enough to work with some wonderful people, some very talented people. Um, but I also grew up with the technology, so to speak. Um, I started out with analog tape recording, when that was the only medium available. Um, and back in 75, there wasn't very many effects or um, aids that we could use equipment-wise. A couple of analog delays. Um, we mostly used um, actual reverb chambers, rooms for reverberation rather than reverberation devices. Um, over the years, that developed into analog and digital hardware um, effects and devices. Um, things of that nature, um, which then developed into synthesizers and a move away from organic instruments, more into the electronic realm, drum machines, synths, um, sampling, so on and so forth. Um, I worked with some of the very early, early um, drum machines and synthesizers um, on through to what we use today, what's called soft synths, which is what you find in your software. Um, I was there at the beginning of digital recording, um, dealing with some of the fits and starts of the early systems that were done, digital tape recording, recording to video tape machines, so on and so forth. And now we are here with computer-based recording. Um, all the while keeping up with it, all the while working professionally within it um, and with it. Um, so here we are. Um, I've also uh, delved into teaching uh, professionally back in 1990. Um, spent a couple of years teaching at an audio technology school known as the Institute of Audio Research. Um, I did that for about two years, but I felt a um, pull back into the field. So I left teaching at that point and moved back into the field. Um, around about 1998, I went back into teaching, um, wanting to wind down my participation, um, doing the 60 plus hours a week in the recording. So I wanted to just wind things down a little bit and went back into teaching. In 2000, I went into teaching pretty much full time. So things flipped from um, teaching being the diversion from the recording to teaching being the main focus with recording as an addition to that.